Last week, in our weekly and monthly review for gold, we have predicted that it is going to remain a bullish month. And the target was first target was close to 23560 levels. Gold in the very first week itself has achieved higher highs, record highs rather I should say, and closed the week again on a bullish note at 2330. Now, what is going to be expected from gold? Is it going to continue with the third bullish candle or open flat and retrace? What is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold in the coming week and in the month of April? We will see with the help of charts and indicate. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the twice a day alerts which I share for gold. First with the Asian Europe session is the way uh, first video is released and the next video is released before the US session. The subscribe and press the bell icon. Do like, share and comment. Let's start in this update. First we'll look into charts followed with indicators. Towards the end I'm going to share this strategy. Watch till the end. And yes, join the free telegram channel for live market updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Now let's start with the 4 hour charts first. On the 4 hour charts we can see that uh, right now gold is trading in this bullish channel and it has closed the week at a high. Now also we have observed it certainly it is trading bullish but the bullishness has got diminished and it is closed at the top. Now only point is the bullish closing calls for a bullish opening as well where it can try to achieve the highs. But right now what we can see here is it has achieved the highs and it is trading in this channel. Remember a breakout here is going to bring another stronger bullish move. So if you see gold is staying about 2336 levels, stay bullish beyond 2336. We are looking at the first targets at around 20. 350 51 and then 23 62 63 this is going to be the first resistance zone which gold will try to achieve and if it stays about 23 60 62 you can say further bullish momentum will take it till towards 23 80 and 24 100 levels now but one must note since it has been trading in this bullish channel and since it has hit the highs if you see it retracing with the beginning of the coming week one must note now on the 4 hour charts the support is at 2300 levels and then look at this zone. It has become an extremely important support zone towards 2270. This is going to be the first support then 2250 which is going to be an increasingly strong support base. And only and only if gold is seen trading below these two you can say now the bears will take over else it is still not to be treated bear. See, lot much of information we have acquired just with the help of 4 hour charts. Now, let's have a look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, now these channels remain irrelevant. Let me delete them. And now, let's have a look at the long. See, on the daily charts, if you observe the gold movement for last 6 months, you will observe that it has been trading in this channel here. Hitting the highs, we have seen it retracing first bottom, then again second bottom. So can we expect it to move towards the highs and where are the highs? 2500 levels. This is the highs of the channel. But remember it requires lot much of ongoing bullish momentum to continue to achieve those levels. Though looking at the momentum it achieves 2500 is certainly achievable. But let's come back. Let's have a look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, rise, formation, a strong base is formed here. Now this is going to be the base which it should not break in near future that is 2200 and 2150. Since then we have just seen gold trading with increasing bullishness and it has again closed the week at the highs. Now the last candle is very very important. See we have seen it forming lower lows, forming a tail and showing a reversal. And remember it has closed the day at the highs here. So it suggests Bullish closing generally calls for a bullish opening for the coming week as well where it can try to achieve higher highs before coming back. So if you see it is staying about 2336, do not think of selling gold unless and until see 2350-52 first and then 2362-63 should get achieved at least and in fact it can move towards 2380 before looking back. Yes. What has happened in December, if you recall, we have seen gold achieving 21, 25 with the market open and then within the same day we have seen it falling by 
hundred dollars and move in towards 2025 20, 2022 now can this repeat uh, see the more it goes away the more it... and since the last candle comes with a bigger tail it shows a push on the upside this suggests that this push can be carried forward further so it appears there could be bullish momentum in the very first day but a pullback also something what you should expect because the farther it goes here the stronger the pullback would be now let's have a look at the weekly chart on the weekly charts you can see bullish closing calls for a bull run now bullish closing calls for a bullish candle now this is see two candles here retracement and the two candles here also it this comes with a flat closing at the top so it is going to be watched any move about 22 36 should certainly take it further on the upside and remember it is increasingly bullish so if it continues beyond 23 50 23 the chances of a pullback will be difficult but then definitely 2380 and 2400 levels can also be expected there if it continues on the upside and breaks past 2350 2360 zone certainly one can say that there is going to be stronger momentum where 2400 appears to be a achievable target now also one must look at if you connect the dots see this retracement and since then gold has been trading bullish if you connect the dots here you will find this is almost running to the highs of the channel here and we have shared i will share in the monthly charts that why 2400 could be a resistance here and if you look at the formation here see rise retracement and it appears to be moving towards the top of this channel we have to be careful here with the selling entry certainly coming to monthly chart on the monthly chart see this is the long term chart and you can clearly see this was the rise then the retracement and then the sideways formation since it has breached the triple top levels we have seen this really taking off now one must see what has happened here you can see price is traded between 1200 to 1400 then when it broke out it is almost achieved 600 dollars here and move towards 2000 levels now it is stayed within this zone 18000 to 1800 to 2000 and now it is giving a breakout so this is almost 600 dollars this could be 400 dollars which means 2400 is almost certain but and if you connect these two highs and the lows here see bottom is also beautifully connected you can find the highs here for the near terms appear to be beyond 2500 to 2700 levels so be very alert here also now coming to the current candle see it is taken off flat and it is continued on the bullish note you can see what it is in making what is in making here this was the candle from 2040 to 2250 levels 2260 levels almost 200 dollars of move and now it is started here from 2250 now even if you count the half of it the previous move the half of the previous move makes the median at around 23 50 60 that also makes 23 50 60 as a good resistance zone then 2400 the two thirds of it the next resistance and beyond this we are looking forward to 24 45 plus plus levels in the month of april itself possibility is there now let's have a look with the help of indicators indicators on the monthly charts this was the retracement then the retracement and now it is forming the second bump here 2400 appears to be a certainty here on the monthly charts so in this month i think if you see it dropping towards 23 or 22 80 you should take a buying entry there again because only bearishness is observed if it draws below 22 80 70 and then 22 30 these are the two levels it has to support it has to stay above these levels in order to trade bullish so yes we have to be watchful now thing is it is trading outside bollinger bands the bands are expanding so this is going to put pressure on the bands to expand and thus continue to stay bullish is stock has to entering onto overbought levels macd macd is divergent it is bullish looking upward 
and it appears i have been sharing this in my annual review in my monthly review i have told you that see this is bound to achieve the highs before any pullback so next few months possibly gold is going to achieve the highs before any reversal rsi entering into overbought zone coming to weekly chart likewise on the weekly charts here moving average are divergent and are bullish looking upwards only concern point is the divergence of the price from the moving average but see it has just started to diverge few since few weeks and hence it could achieve the highs before taking a u turn so still we should not be treating this as bearish what it will try to do it will wait for the moving averages to climb up somewhere here at around 2200 or 2150 zone and then retrace that is what we can expect a stochastic overbought macd is extremely divergent extremely bullish let me show you something first wave second wave now don't tell me that we have not seen this in my each and every analysis since last few weeks and few months and i have been telling this that it is going to achieve the highs rsi again entering into overbought zone coming to daily chart on the daily charts price is divergent from the 20 period moving average which are sitting at around 22 20 22 10 zone i do not I, I do see that this is going to be a very very good support but what it will do it will climb further wait for the moving average to come down somewhere here at around 2250 or 2270 zone move towards this before rising again a stochastic overbought macd is extremely divergent and bullish now this is a concerning point for us on the daily charts see rise retracement and rise retracement again looking upwards now MACD on the daily charts is certainly at an elevated level though we have seen it achieving higher levels at plus 60 but that has happened only twice in history first that is what the data suggests that first during the COVID post covid rise and then uh, that was after the financial crisis so yes these are the two times when we have seen plus 60 levels in gold in the recent times and right now it appears that it is going to hit those zone before reversing on the daily charts rsi entering into overbought zone coming to four hour chart on the four hour charts as well see moving average is climbing up staying is strong 22 90 95 22 80 and then 2270 these appears to be now the stronger supports here on the downside stock i stick back to overbought macd is still diverging see it has traded with bearishness and now looking upwards but see these are the highs from where generally it tries to reverse so on the four hour chart it appears there should be a pullback but Again, these are markets, they can fool you with what just slight, or slight drop, they will cool down the indicators on the 4 hour charts and then bounce back. RSI again entering into overbought zone. So now we have seen the charts and indicators. Time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy. And before we proceed, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can be part of my 30th mentorship badge starting 8th of April. Register yourself now. Do not miss this opportunity. Get all the tools, techniques and strategies which we use, which we, we have developed over the years of experience with the help of which you can identify profitable trades and trends. And yes, with the help of which you can trade profitably. So do join the mentorship batch. Do be a part of the signals channel where trading as per the signals you can benefit. So write an email or ping me on Telegram for any of your queries related to the services. Now, also many of you had asked me to recommend a broker which is Safe Secure Trustworthy with global presence where you can trade all the global instruments. You can find the recommended broker link in the channel and video description. Now, where to buy 2236? You can buy. I will expect it to move towards 2250, 52 levels. This is going to be the first resistance zone. Then beyond that, 2262, 63, the next one. And if it stays above this, we can say we are looking forward to another round of rise towards 22, 78, 81. This is going to be the crucial one because beyond this, now see, these are all crucial levels as in how it breaks one of these levels. We are looking forward to another round of rise taking it till towards 2400. Now this is going to be a very important milestone for gold beyond this is also possible and in the month of april itself we will look forward to 24 45 levels but it is not possible for gold to continue with the uptrend without pulling back so if it goes towards 2400 first 
certainly there will be a sharp pullback which can be expected which can again take it towards 2300 levels be watchful and the plunge is going to be equally sharp as well now on the downside where to sell i will recommend you to sell here at 2318 below which you can expect 2304 levels first and then 2296 if these levels are taken we can look forward to 2280 see 2280 this is indeed a very very good support and then 2265, the next support level. If it breaks below this, then only we can say slight bearishness towards 2252, 2235. Chances for gold moving towards this appears to be less. Uh, we expect it to trade bullish, but then achieving the highs, there should be a pullback before it looks over to a reversal. So take your positions accordingly. Trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship by Signals channel webinar series. Reach out to me for any of your queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.